Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to reset Windows administrator password in Amazon EC2. You might have a different scenario uh, for that you want to reset the password. Here uh, this is my Windows Server 2008 uh, EC2 instance. I have created this instance from a custom AMI and when you will uh, create an instance from a custom AMI, you cannot retrieve the password even you have a keys. Okay, or uh, you might have a different scenario. You want to retrieve the password. Let's say uh, you have created the a, 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 EC2 instance from custom AMI, and you want to retrieve the password. So uh, you will get a, this message. It will clearly say you can reset it using a Amazon EC2 configuration service. So you cannot uh, directly uh, reset the password. You need to follow some step to a reset password. So I will show you in this video how you can reset that password. Okay. So first step is I will create a one more EC2 instance through that instance I will access my Windows server and then I will change that configuration file which was mentioned in that message okay so uh, here uh, I'm going to create a one more EC2 instance I will take a Windows and will take a default instance which is eligible for a free tier uh, let me give you the name like a YouTube uh, Windows 2019 the default image and the rest of the things uh, I will not change key pair you can either create a new key pair or you can use existing I'm using my existing which I have you uh, which uh, I have used in a Windows Server 2008 as well security group uh, is the same you can create uh, up to you uh, you want to create a new you can create I will use existing where I have already enabled uh, my uh, system IP as a white tested so yeah so I'm taking the existing and yeah that's it you can create a launch click on the launch instance and then a new instance will set up okay now you will go back yeah here you can see uh, we have one instance is already running second is in a pen pending state the first step we have done we have created one ec2 instance the second step is i need to shut down this okay stop instance okay why I'm stopping this because I want to detach the volume of this EC2 instance and I will attach on this one 2019 I will detach from a 2008 and attach in 2019 then I will do a logging in a 2019 and will change the configuration file okay now my instance is running but before that the instance is running I can go here and click on the storage so in storage i will get uh, all that uh, you know volume which are uh, attached to the this ec2 instance so currently is the only one volume is attached and which is a main one root volume i will select this and detach volume you cannot detach a volume while ec2 instance is running okay now i need to attach I have a many instance so oh here is the problem the problem is uh, I'm not able to see other instance which I have recently created the reason is when you want to attach a volume from a one machine to another machine you need to make sure your EC2 instance in a same availability zone okay we'll go back And let me load my both instance here. Okay, so you can see Windows 8 is right now in a 1B, and uh, this one is a uh, 1A. So I need to create another instance, right? And then I can do that. So I will terminate this one. Okay. we'll create a new one and this time we will make sure we are launching in a 1b only so I will put a same name YouTube win server 2019 okay just I have made a small changes win server 2019 
operating system I will select again the same windows and the base image is a fine uh, instance type is fine I will select a key pair the same existing one here in the networking setting I will select a, my um, security group launch wizard one here uh, subnet based on the availability zone the subnet list will show so we'll click here and let me here is a no preference we need to see uh, what is a 1b right this is a 1b okay rest of the things will remain same and launch stance So here you can see uh, the new instance which uh, just now we created this is in a pending state in a minute it will be uh, come as a running state. So meanwhile we can go in that our uh, instance uh, uh, Windows Server 2008 and we already detached the volume. Now what we need to do we need to attach that volume right. If now I will go back here and we'll go in a storage section it won't show us because we already detached okay now we need to go here in from volume okay so here we will get a, all the volume but here you can see that available one which are available so we have it in a 1b right so I can select this one and attach a volume yeah so it's showing me YouTube's uh, Win server 219 is a running state which newly created right device uh, name you can keep default and then attach a volume so so far what we uh, did the first step created a uh, another ec2 instance then detach a root volume from windows server 2008 where we want to reset the password now we attach with a newer newly created instance so three step we done right the fourth step is we will log in and change the one setting in that uh, root volume okay for that I will go back in instance so here uh, we have a instance is running let me download my file RDP file here download save username is the administrator and to retrieve the password we need to please wait at least four minutes after launching the instance so we need to wait a couple of minutes uh, when that uh, instance is a, you know fully ready so we i will just pause my video and we'll come back on this screen again so here now we will click on the get password i will select windows server 2008.pem file the private key I have given then I will click on a decrypt password okay now I got a password I will just uh, keep it somewhere because this I need to log in okay then I will go in my download and click on this file okay this is a RDP file it will show us a one pop-up okay connect yeah so here we have a screen to enter a password remember me okay yeah yes it's connecting so now we are able to access right so but if i will go in my computer i can see only the one drive which is a root volume but I am not able to see other uh, volume which we attach for that we can search our disk manager we need to perform a some step and then only uh, the newly created volume or newly attached volume will show here so here you can see this volume is available we need to right click and online once we will do a online that's it you can see the D drive is available here okay so I will open this D drive this is actually Windows Server 2008 drive and here open a program file we have a folder called Amazon under that we have a folder 
uh, call a EC2 config service. And then we have a folder setting. Here we have a many files, so we need to open this config.xml file. I will open with notepad. We need to change this setting. EC2 set password. This is a default. Uh, this is the value of the disable. You need to enable it. and you need to save it yeah that's it now you can again detach this volume so we can attach with the uh, original ec2 instance so right click offline right and we can close this one now we are back to aws console what we can do we can uh, detach our original volume from this instance and attach back to a Windows Server 2008. So for that we need to follow same step. Go in EC2 instance, then move into a storage section. Here we have a second one volume, right? We can click on that volume. Select that volume and simply detach. Now to attach that, oh, okay, this attach is not coming. You can wait a couple of seconds. Now you can again click and you can wait. Generally it will take a few seconds. Yeah, you can see attach volume is coming. Now you can select Windows 2008 or your original machine. And here when you are attaching uh, the volume as a root, then you need to make sure you are giving the volume name or device name like this. Okay, just copy paste the value is showing here and attach volume. So you might have noticed one thing. I haven't, I haven't, uh, you know, stopped 2019 while detaching, detaching the volume. The reason was that was not a root volume. So that is why uh, when we are detaching or attaching, non root volume we don't need a uh, need to stop ec2 instance okay now go back hmm, the ec2 instance is loading so i will now simply start instance and i will pause my video and wait for a couple of minute okay guys i have just waited for a two minutes now the instance is in a running state uh, we will click on that windows server 2781 we will click on the connect okay we need a rdp file download remote desktop file save and get password yeah right now i'm not getting that message i can simply click on the browse select file and here i have a password yeah so let me log in connect i can enter a password okay yes connecting yep you can see here i'm able to log in in my system yeah that's all for today thank you so much